dear students welcome to my channel main topic of this video is indexing and scoring in information system and sub topic is exercises on inverted file index in my previous video i have already explained the inverted file index in detail now we'll see the just definition of inverted files before proceeding for the problems inverted file is a word oriented mechanism for indexing a text collection in order to speed up the searching task there are two main elements vocabulary that is nothing but the set of unique terms and occurrences that is location where those terms appear the occurrences can be recorded as term or byte offset using term offset that is nothing but words or character it is used to good it is good to retrieve the concepts such as proximity whereas byte offset that is character position allows a direct access that is we can easily find out the location of that particular keyword all problems are solved with the bytes offset but they can easily solve with the term offset also exercise 1 five documents are given with their description now to solve the problem we require to find out the stop word punctuation marks and number because generally we don't make the inverted file indexing on these words so in all five documents whatever that stop word punctuation marks and number are represented in blue now we require to remove this next step we are removing that stop words punctuation marks number and also we are going for stemming operation and after stemming operation and all other pre processing this is nothing but our final documents so department is converted to depart computer is converted to compute so in this way we are applying the standard stemming algorithm to make the stemming or the basic form or the morpheme of the word now we will take one by one document to make a inverted file index document d1 is depart compute science and establish so we are using here the byte offset now the first word occurs at one location second word occurs at eight location and science word occur at 50 location establish word occur at 22 location so we are finding out this particular location and here we are maintaining the data like this this is for document d1 vocabulary and their occurrences so four words are there and they occur at 8 1 22 15 location respectively and vocabulary generally we maintain in a uh, ascending order that is alphabetically sorted order for document d2 that is department launch bsc honors compute study so here we are making this and we are finding out the location that is character location of each word and vocabulary is again maintain in a sorted order that is ascending order and we are storing the occurrences of that particular word so in this way document d1 and d2 is stored for inverted file indexing now for document d3 the document 3 is follow msc compute science start we are following the same step so just we require to make the proper count and here again we are keeping the vocabulary and their occurrences respectively same we will follow for the document d4 and here again that particular character location find out and we are maintaining like this for document d5 we follow the same procedure that is carried out from for d1 to d4 and in this way we are finding out the vocabulary and their occurrences at the particular location so now we'll see how that simple queries are solved with the inverted file index for search for example query is computer or department now here when we made the inverted file index at that time we use the logical form of the document the logical form of the document means we are not stored computer or department completely but we stored after the stemming operation so when the query is also given then at that time query is also converted to the particular logical form so here even the query is given by the user computer or department it is pre processed internally that is nothing but converted into logical form that is computer and department because in our original document we maintain the inverted file index not on the computer word but on the compute depart now uh, second query is computer and department it is again internally processed to compute depart now we will see this uh, word that is compute and department so total five documents are there and compute and depart this which we can easily find out from the vocabulary so we find out that 
compute and department is present in D1, D2, D3, D4, but both present only in D1 and D2. So when the AND query is given, so at that time only D1 and D2 gets retrieved, but when OR query is given, then all D1, D2, D3, D4 gets retrieved. So when the documents are located, their respective location can be found out from the occurrences list. So here we are getting the information that this particular keywords are present in that document. So this query is very simple. For example, it is a binary model that is the query with AND and OR operator. But if we are using the vector model at that time, we can get from the uh, documents when located from the respective location. So where we can get that this term is repeated for how many times from the occurrence list. Second example six documents are given for simplicity documents are very small in size given a document database containing six documents don't perform the stemming so instruction is given that don't perform the stemming on this document and perform the inverted file index now this is nothing but d1 to d6 document and we can easily find out that there is no stop or punctuation marks it is a already simplified document and even we don't require to perform the stemming because it is given that don't perform the stemming so that's why we are not performing the stemming step here now same as for previous problem for document d1 that the first document is car manufacturer honda auto so we'll find out the byte offset so car manufacturer honda and auto and their per their respective location is stored in the occurrence list now every word occur once so there is no repetition of occurrences so similarly we follow the same step for document d2 that is auto computer navigation we are finding out the vocabulary and their particular occurrences at the location for document d3 and for document d4 so same procedure is followed to find out the vocabulary and their respective occurrences the same procedure is repeat for document d5 and d6 now we will see that how we can solve the queries or how we can locate the document using the inverted file index on a fast track now for getting the visual i have displayed like this so six documents are there and internally they are stored as d1 d2 d3 d4 d5 d6 and for each documents that important keywords are stored like this that is vocabulary and their occurrences now we are going to solve the query based on this now first query is for simplicity i have represented in a matrix form so it is better for you people to understand now d1 to d6 documents are there these are the keywords they are again arranged in a alphabetical order now the first query is car now it is a single word query so car that is present in d1 and d6 so d1 and d6 documents are retrieved ibm and car now if we see ibm and car and an operator is there and there is no common because ibm is present in d5 d6 d4 d5 and car is present in d1 and d6 so not possible that both words are present in the same document so no documents is retrieved second uh, the third second query is ibm and computer we can easily find out that ibm and computer they are matching in the d4 d5 so they get retrieved similarly we can solve the query so when an operator is there it that all keywords are present in both documents and when or is there then at that time we can find out the keyword should be present in any one of the documents so in this way we can easily solve the query or for the information retrieval modeling we can provide the basic information from the documents to make the ranking exercise 3 similar way we can solve the problem the problem solving is very easy d1 to d5 documents are there and description is given now here uh, when we solve the problem in exam at that time uh, it may happen that the streaming result is different so at that time we have to think on a particular streaming for example if it is a drinks then we can easily make that uh, the stemming basic morpheme as a drink uh, for likes we can make the like so in this way we require to perform the stemming operation so d1 to d5 so first you highlight which words you want to remove or on which words you don't want to make the inverted file index 
and based on that remaining keywords we can make the indexing operation so after stemming delete numbers and convert to lower case these are nothing but the final logical form of the documents and on which we are going to perform the inverted file indexing so similar way that is for example the first document is he like wink he like ding, drink here h is small now here we can make like this and we find out the vocabulary and occurrences and the order is always in a ascending order so here he appears at 1 and 14 location like appears and 4 and 17 so from occurrences also we are getting that this particular keyword is repeated in how many documents because when we are going for probabilistic model or the vector model at that time we need the count of that particular keyword present in the document so second document he like drink 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 so in this way we can make that way also for document d3 the same procedure is carried out only we require to make this proper even space is there we require to count that word or count that location and as we are not making the uh, inverted file on the space so that's why that entry is not there so we will follow that for d3 and d4 then last document d5 that is he like wing drink pink ink so in this way we will get now it is very easy to solve the query like drink and ink so we require to make the table in exam that is d1 to d6 document and their keyword and which are present so by that we can find out they are present in which documents or whether they satisfy the and query or the or query and if the difficult queries are there so based is that we require to convert the query into dna form so when we solve the dna form it is very easy to solve the operation for the information retrieval example 4 so d1 d2 d3 documents are there so exercises are given that is bright and sky blue or breeze blue or sky or bright we require to find out through inverted file indexing so first we will locate the stop words we make it highlighted in the next step we will remove all that generally we make the documents lowercase so it is easy then after that we are making this and we are creating the inverted file index by vocabulary and occurrence so for first document bright blue butterfly hang breeze and second is best forget great sky retired wind so same procedure we will follow for the document d3 now this example last example four documents are there now even you can solve this uh, example easily only we require to locate the stop words then after that we want to remove that stop words if any numbers are there and we are going to convert into lower case for the simplicity and for this document we can easily make the inverted file index so same as for previous four problems so inverted file is created for document d1 d2 and similarly we can create for d3 and d4 so you can see that it is very easy to create the inverted file index that's why till date it is more popular for information searching so these are the references for this video Thank you.